think the greatest challenges we face as an industry going forward relate to the regulatory environment. So at, we're at a turning point in the industry. So we're either going to be facing the same kind of legal battles and demonization and, and, and ostr ostracizing of executives and high taxes, et cetera, and, and public policy that's been all designed to shut down our industry over the past 40 or 50 years, or there's this great opportunity for a turning point where with the, the regulatory environment, we can be moving forward in a productive and, and partnership method to find a solution that aligns public health interests and business interests going forward. So um, for me, the greatest challenge is a regulatory challenge. Well, the importance of harm reduction and harm reduction, comprehensive harm reduction policy going forward fits right back into the, the challenges because it's the, the solution, right? Instead of the fights of the past, there is a huge opportunity. There, just a few years ago, sort of the world just viewed combustible tobacco and smokeless and all as equally dangerous and, and, and rules and regulations were all designed the same. But I think it's become quite apparent over the past few years that there's a continuum of risk. Now the, the public health community and the tobacco control community, they need to recognize that because there is an opportunity to gravitate consumers down the continuum of risk from the most harmful products to the least harmful products. And in doing so, then you have the opportunity to incent the industry to be successful going forward. And again, that aligns the business interests with the public health interests. You ultimately save lives and at the same time, you create a bright future for all of our memberships and us as manufacturers. Within a, a comprehensive harm reduction policy, probably the greatest discovery and um, the biggest harm reduction opportunity ever presented um, in tobacco is e-cigarettes. I'm, I'm convinced of it. It is. It, it capitalizes on the existing behavior and habits of a smoker. They have an opportunity with a less harmful product um, to be able to enjoy nicotine in in, in that way. And um, the, the the growth of the industry has been phenomenal. It's consumer accepted, and it's something that you know. Again, I need the the regulators to sort of put behind the the ideologies of the past and recognize that this is something that can be great for everyone. NATO plays a critical role in our ability to, to deal with local, federal, state um, regulatory issues, whether it's taxation, whether it is um, um, harm reduction policy discussions, whether it is potential um, deeming regulations on e-cigarettes. You know, the, the fact of the matter is a manufacturer, we're the, the last person that's going to be trusted. Um, and we do things from a responsible manner but it is much more compelling to a state um, legislator or a federal legislator when they hear from broader um, constituents. And when NATO gets out there and speaks as a, a voice and talks about jobs and talks about implications and talks about their interaction one-on-one -on -one with consumers at the point of sale, um, the regulators and legislators listen. So we need your help in order to, to, to get reasonable regulation going forward.